you can think it's weird. What is that? This little chain makes me feel good, dude. Like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, man, I got my bling. You don't. <laughs> you know, what's your, what's your, what's your excuse? When I first realized uh, something was wrong, like I used to be working, I used to work on night crew, and um, it's kind of a physical job. I used to get, get so tired that I had to go sit down on the toilet and go get my, you know, get my strength back in my legs, and then I go back I had to work. But as it went on, then I started to get dizzy. And I told the doctors all of this, but every time the doctors We'll check, we'll get my MRI. They didn't know what, was, what exactly was wrong. Cause on, on the MRIs, that I must have taken like 10, 15 MRIs in Los Angeles. And they never find anything wrong. The doctors in Los Angeles, they, they gave me five years. <laughs> now it's like, okay, five years. They gave you five years to live? Yeah. For real? The doctor was not getting me, you got like five years. My friends always thought I was drunk or high or something, you know. My friends used to call me stumbles because I was always like stumbling around, you know. And I knew something was wrong with me, but no one ever could, you know, pin it on, pick something that was wrong. Every time I used to go to a party, I would just walk around with a beer, full beer, and whenever I seen a friend of mine, I was almost done with his beer. I would just trade them, you know, so I don't want to have to have to explain why I ain't drinking. We went to Rancho Palos Verdes to the big hills by the beach and all of a sudden the cop showed up and he chased me and automatically thinks I'm drunk out of my mind because I'm all, you know, I'm all dizzy and this and that. Next thing you know, man. I'm on the floor in the patrol car, um, handcuffed and everything. They didn't do no blood tests, no blow up, you be blow up. That's only on cops, man. They don't do that for us. I got arrested for being drunk in public when I wasn't even drunk. I went to, um, I went to jail. I stood there overnight. And then I went to the, to the judge and I told the judge, Judge, you know, I wasn't drinking on a drink. There's something wrong with me. And the judge was like, yeah, right, man. Yeah, right. And he gave me uh, 12 classes of DUI. At the same time, all of this happening, I was getting divorced. I was doing to my kids. I lost everything I ever worked for. So at that point, I was like, I told the judge, hey man, do what you want. And he was like, hey man, this was your last extension. So there I'll go to jail. And then I went to, um, to LA jail, and then I went to Inglewood jail. And I went to county jail. And all this time, I wasn't even drunk or anything. You know, I was just sick. The hardest part about MS for me was being in the wheelchair. They like gave me like real bad anxiety. I don't know why. I just just people looking at me made me just feel bad. And um, and now I just learn. I, I just take it as it comes, you know. So now when I see somebody else and they were sure that it, that disabled, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I don't look at them because I know the way it makes me feel. I accepted it, that I, I wasn't going to be able to do things anymore. That's why I'm not all depressed and all sadness and this and that. Physically, I, I just accepted that, you know, I'm not going to walk ever again. <laughs> and I'm not going to try to fight it. It's just like, damn, you know. All right, that's 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 what how my dealt was. That's what I was dealt. I just you know try to try to look at the positive side. Now every time I wake up, for me that's a good day. You know, even even if it's not a good day, you know, because sometimes I get get up and bam, 
on the floor. Mm-hmm. And you know, but I, I just take it in stride. I try to break it down, man. I'm telling you that right now. Like from the inside out, I try to break it down. I mean, my doctor tells me that, you know, I have a good mind because a person that was weak will be all depressed and be this and be that. But um, to me, it's like, hey, I have it. Might as well write this out until the wheels fall off, you know?